That was like the most fun I've had in the morning. Feast your eyes on this. Let me start this episode off by saying a massive shout out to C-Bob. This looks so cool. I cannot wait to try it out. For people at home that don't know what this is, it's an underwater scooter. Although this beast is more like an underwater jet ski. I'm very excited to use this. Very, very, very excited to use this. Which reminds me, I should probably read the manual on how to use it because there's no buttons on here that press says start or stop. And um, there's a bit of instructions. Six and a half hours later. All right. Well. I think I've got a pretty good understanding on how it works. Pretty sure. Now, for the exciting part, putting it in the water. And testing it out. Let's go! Woo! through the water it's nuts it's like not even kidding that was like the most fun I've had in the water in so long I was going like maybe 80% on the sea bob and then my goggles were like struggling to stay on my face there's like water come up there it was like pushing on my skull so hard I'm um, you know like that one scene in Aquaman how they like they they shoot off and like you know they, they go like a torpedo through the water it's literally like that thing that is so much fun so New plan is, um, I'm going to go see if I can find that shipwreck that I found ages ago that way. Um, I actually don't know where it is, so but with that thing, it's so easy to get around. Like, I went around this entire sand cave, maybe like five minutes. Like, literally just went around it. Like, I'm not even exhausted because I haven't pushed. It is so much fun. And for surprisingly, fish aren't terrified of it. Like. I would go and I, was, I thought the noise, like it's not loud at all. And then as I was like approaching some fish, they weren't like spooked by it at all. No idea why, no idea. Can't you explain the science because knowledge, don't have it. Um, so yeah, I'm, I think there's like 70% of the battery life left on it. I was using it for quite a long time. So it should have more than enough power to get me out of that spot. Not sure what that is right there, but I tried lifting it, it's a bit heavy. Mm. Might be where the anchor of the old shipwreck is, but got nothing to dig it out with. I tried using the sea bob jet to sort of push away some of the sand. Eh, didn't really work, but 
Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. blown away by how powerful these things are. You guys have no idea. Actually, I'll show you how powerful these things are. Hey guys, we are on our way back to Cairns. Got some things that are broken. Just hoping to be out here a little longer, but that's boat life for ya. Anyway, a bit of something different this episode. Pretty much just spent the entire day on the sea bog. Like, it's pretty unreal. It's pretty cool. Definitely recommend checking them out. Now, they are very expensive. Well, they're really fun. Again, thank you Seabolt for sending me one. It is incredible. I can already see a thousand different opportunities I'm gonna use it with. Um, anyway guys, enjoy the rest of your day, or night, or whatever you're doing. Till next time.